Hi, welcome back to the channel. It's a beautiful day out. Uh, one of the things I'm doing today is fixing fences. And uh, it's not a big, huge job. It just takes a little bit of time and you gotta take all your materials with you so you're going all the way around the perimeter and fix everything you see. But uh, some of the things I'm gonna use is just some basic tools. Just a hammer, wrenches, some bag of uh, bag of the wire keepers, and then just a spool of wire. And I got some pliers and stuff in my pocket. So pretty simple stuff. I'll show you what I'm doing here. And what happens is, over the course of you know months and years, the goats they stick their heads through the, the fence a lot of times and eat this grass that's right here. And after many attempts, they start pushing the fence away from the post like that, and uh, they end up breaking the breaking the straps. So that's all we're doing today. I'll show you what I'm doing here. Get that in place. Oh. Kind of hard to do this while holding the camera. My help disappeared. Easy does it. Maybe uh, put another one down here. Maybe. Oh, well, I can't do this with uh, two hands, so I'm gonna have to do this one. You're not gonna be able to see this one. Unless, uh, well, maybe we can put the camera up on the up on the stand. Maybe that'll see what we're doing here, huh? We can get the uh, cats to not knock it over. On to the next post. So one thing I'd like to show you, actually two things. If you're ever doing this, try to get the T-post not straddling one of these vertical wires. See that? Because what happens is, when you go to try to put, put the clip on, this is really hard to do with one hand. It doesn't work very well trying to straddle that thing. It just isn't meant, designed to, to do that. And it's kind of a kind of pain in the butt. So, uh, so yeah, try to, uh, try to put it where that's not gonna be a problem, but it's too late for this one. Another thing I try to do when you turn this, I try to turn it so that the the pokey part of the wire is facing down. If it's facing out, it's going to get you, and if it's facing in, it's going to get the animals. So facing down seems to be about the best the best way to do it. But anyway, I got to try to put another one in on this one, and it's just a pain in the butt to try to get around these. And you've got this vertical wire right next to it. Works a lot better when it's right in the middle. It's kind of what it's designed for. So just a little trip tip from your catastrophic farmer on that. So here's another problem that I've got. This one, it's not straddling that wire, that top wire, that vertical wire, but it's not far away enough from it. So that becomes a bit of a problem. Let's see if I can do that. Yeah, that one worked out okay. It ended up twisting down inside. Sometimes you don't get that lucky. It 
make sure them things are sticking down. If I can save anybody from ripping open their arm or their leg on the lawnmower or just walking by, I'm gonna do it. So definitely don't do that. Definitely put it down like that. Now, if you're putting them down here where the animals like to stick their heads through, you might not wanna do that. You might wanna have them pointing up maybe, but at any rate, make sure they're out of the way. I guess down here probably wouldn't hurt so bad if they're sticking out. You're not gonna brush your arm or your leg up down there. That's just gonna be your feet, your boots, whatever. But anyway, on to the next one. Now we get to the, now we get to the really crappy part of the fence. I uh, kind of slapped this together a few years ago and uh, just needed to section off the garden area up there. And this is what I ended up with. And of course the goats have just torn it all to hell and I had to put panels in, in ahead of the, the woven fence here. And it's kind of a mess, but I think it's kind of temporary. I'm gonna, I'm gonna redo some of it here, maybe starting around here and I'm gonna, ease on up towards that white building uh, with the one with the roof off of it. Yeah, that's the machine shed. <clears throat> uh, and then, you know, maybe cut a door, a hole in the door of that and have a little, have a little uh, oh, corridor for them to get over into this from there. So that would be kind of nice, but that's, uh, that's a future project. Maybe someday. Fencing's expensive, man. I don't put up a whole lot of it unless I have to. But at any rate, this here is probably temporary, so it'll do for now. All right, keep on moving. Here we've gotten into our woven fence, which is a lot easier to deal with. Slip that over here. Terrible camera work, sorry folks. All right. Ah, oh, dang it, fell down inside the other side. Where is it? Ooh, got lucky, got lucky. All right, try this again. It looks really easy, but it ain't. nice thing about this woven fence is it it can be bent a little bit and pushed around you know you can move it here and even side to side a little bit a little bit all right look what the heck these goats have done to this fence down here hell they can jump right over that i don't know why they don't God, stupid goats Yeah, life would be easier if I was just inside watching the ball game, wouldn't it? Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah, well, we don't do that around here. Oh, this is probably a two-hander. <sighs> Look at that. <laughs> Stay by itself, maybe. Yeah, well, again, sorry about the poor camera work, folks. I just, uh, it's just the way it is. All right. It's not too bad. Looks like there's something down there holding the bottom on. That's good. All right. On to the next one. Well, I thought I'd show you something kind of cool here. This is my corner post. You can see down the other side and up this side. The way I did this was I wrapped it all the way around and then wrapped each strand around itself on each one of these. And then again, on that side, I don't know if you can see it or not, but going that way. So this post is wrapped up tight. There's no way that can slip off because when you're stretching that fence out, you want that thing stable. So I had to re-pour the, uh, the base because the 
earth pushed it out one winter I put it in in the fall and the ground was real wet that year and uh, then by spring it had pushed itself out and I don't know the freezing and thawing and whatnot this is part of the old part that I poured and then uh, that down there of course is the new part so yeah so I think I got real good at putting uh, corner posts in over the years I've done a lot of them so kind of cool stuff I, I I'm pretty proud of that I'm just gonna be honest <laughs> it looks good and it's stout So back here we sustained some damage from the tornado we had some branches fall down on the fence i have fixed most of it sorta don't look too bad i guess but this guy has come undone again there's some bends and stuff back there at the corner but it's not too bad anyway got to put some staples in and i thought i would just give you one quick little tip on putting staples in when you pound one of these in don't put them vertical stagger them sideways like that you put them vertical you got two you got two of those uh, parts going into the wood and that's gonna that's gonna be more apt to uh, split open and then you damage your uh, post and your fence doesn't hold up very well and the poke course your post rots faster and all that so yeah easy thing just stagger them Thought I was gonna pound my uh, hand, huh? My finger, my thumb. I know you guys better than that. Oh, you son of a. Let's try down here. Post is bouncing. How am I going to do this? So, yeah, pound into it, and the post just pound, bounces like that. Oh, darn it. So, I can't put any. I can't drive it in because the post moves instead of the staple. Hold it back behind me, behind it maybe. There we go. Down on the bottom it's not so bad. Can't move as much. Ha! Ah, didn't pound my fingers or nothing. Except now I'm out of staples. And I've only got two sides of my fence done. So, moving on, I guess. Well, here's some more fence I got. As you can see, there's a tree that fell down on the fence, and I got that to repair. And this is, uh, yeah, I had a fence here before, and I kind of redid it, so that was the old corner, and, you know, it just, it's kind of a cluster. But, hey, you know, it holds, uh, it holds goats in, so that's all that matters. <clears throat> so fencing is sort of an ongoing project. It's never really done. Uh, you're always repairing it. The animals, they're, they're rough on them, no doubt about it. Let's fix that. 
And oh man, what the heck is this? You know, this post broke or something? Oh geez, I don't know. Nope. It's just leaning over, I don't know. I don't know. I don't really know what I'm doing. Doing the best I can, man. Hey, buddy. You here to help with the fence? No? He doesn't want to be petted, huh? He's a good boy. Okay. Oh, you're going to get some, uh, get some of those keepers out of the bag for me, maybe? Nope. Not going to, are you? All right. really difficult to do one-handed yeah yeah see this woven wire is a lot better like I said it's a little more forgiving cool We're doing here is fixing some of these old posts this is some of my first fence that i put up oh five or six years ago trying to fix it so yeah we got to do this because uh you know, the, the goats they rub against this fence, must feel good on their skin or whatever. And, you know, over the course of years, they pop these staples out. That's just the way it is. So, probably should do this about once a, once a year or so, but it's been a while since I've done this. So, <clears throat> we're working on it. I don't really know what I'm doing, but here we go. Well, I think that's probably it for the day. Losing my voice. Parched. I think it's about time for a drink or something. So I think the fence is probably good for maybe another year or so. But we'll uh, we'll keep an eye on it. It's just one of them things that it's a, it's a constant, uh, it's in constant state of disrepair. It's always needing something, it seems like. So we just gotta keep an eye on it and that's what we do. Fences are never really done. Well, I guess if you got anything out of that, like, share, and subscribe, I guess. Is that what everybody says to do? I don't know. Anyway, we'll see you later.